keeping it from creeping up, especially after using my jaw in a repetitive movement scenario, right? has a lot to do with actually lengthening, focusing a little bit more on lengthening this whole 360 degrees or it's harmonious and balanced, right? Because our neck is going to move in all sorts of ways, maybe even be fixed in certain positions. So we want to make sure that all the way around, it's ready, open, long, and that it is activated. So yeah. one of my favorite things to do on the floor, you can either be in a cross-legged position or yeah. if you also want to stretch your hamstrings and calves at the same time is a dynamic neck flexor and a little bit of a shoulder helper release because that's going to clear up a lot of the tension that we tend to get through here. So if you take your left hand and you put it palm down under your left glute, we're still imagining kind of a string pulling us up by the sky. The right hand is then going to grab the back left corner of the skull and then we're gonna see if we can bring the right eyeball towards the right hip bone and then come back to neutral. I personally find it more helpful uh, to close my eyes during this because then I really can focus on, can I turn my neck off so I can prepare it? And doing this for about a minute each side really, really helps as well as imagining that between that left ear and that left shoulder, you're just gaining distance. Even telling yourself, wow, there's a mile between my ear and my shoulder is really helpful.